who's ready to make some bath bombs. Hi, I'm Katie from Simply Earth, the essential oil company that teaches you how to use essential oils and sells them at an honest price. And it is bath bomb week. We are celebrating some super fun new bath bomb products at Simply Earth making some super cool recipes. If you have never made bath bombs before, check out my first video in the series. We've also got a few other recipes out on some really fun different bath bomb recipes that are easy to make and fun. <laughs> in this video, we are going to be making a secret ingredient, foaming, spinning bath bomb using Simply Earth's Happy Joy Blend to make bath time happy and joyful. For this recipe, you'll need a half cup of baking soda, a half cup of cornstarch or a similar starch, some isopropyl alcohol, 99% works best. And from Simply Earth, I'm using citric acid, emulsifying wax, yellow gold mica powder, Happy Joy essential oil blend, and almond oil. Let's get started. First, we're gonna mix together our cornstarch and baking soda. I'm doing this through a sieve to remove clumps. I'm gonna set this aside and mix together our oil ingredients. I'm first going to melt together my almond oil and emulsifying wax. Simply Earth's emulsifying wax is my secret ingredient to natural foam in a bath bomb. If you don't add this ingredient, your bath bomb will fizz away. It's an alternative to SLS in this recipe that is natural and safe and really great for people with sensitive skin. Now I'm gonna add six drops of Happy Joy to add the aroma and joyful benefits to my bath bomb. Stir, stir, stir to make sure the essential oil is fully diluted. I'm now gonna mix my oil ingredients with my dry ingredients. Now I'm gonna mix these first a little bit with my spatula. Then I'm gonna do this by hand to help get it fully mixed so that it's a nice even mixture. So now I'm going to squeeze this mixture in my hand. Just check its consistency. This is really dry. I'm going to just spray it with some isopropyl alcohol. You could also add some witch hazel, a tiny bit of water, or add more carrier oil to get it to the right consistency. There we go. When I squeeze it, it now holds its shape. Now I'm gonna divide it into two bowls. Oops. To one bowl, I'm gonna add a dash of yellow gold mica powder. If you want a darker color, you can add more mica powder to it. So that was a little bit more than a dash, the amount. Um, it's pretty flexible. You can do a little bit for a little hint at a color or more for a darker color. I'm going to mix each of these. Now we're gonna add our citric acid. The citric acid is what's gonna react with the baking soda when it hits water to create the fun, fizzy effect of a bath bomb. In one of my bowls, I'm going to be adding a half tablespoon of citric acid. In my other bowl, I'm going to be adding two and a half tablespoons of citric acid. This is what's gonna give it its spinning effect. Now I'm gonna stir each mixture. I like to mix it with my hands a little bit too make sure that the consistency is nice and even. All right, and now I'm going to make sure that it holds its shape. So I'm going to squeeze each mixture. It looks like this one has gotten a little bit dried out. So I'm gonna add some more isopropyl alcohol. All right, that's looking pretty good. It's holding its shape pretty well. Maybe just a few more squirts. Yeah, that looks good. All right, now I'm gonna test my yellow one. This one looks too dry as well, so I'm gonna add some isopropyl alcohol to it. All 
Now what I'm gonna do is fill up my bath bomb mold alternating layers. I'll start with a little bit of orange. Add some yellow. This is are such happy colors. And I'm gonna make sure that I overfill each side and lightly press it down. I'm not jamming it into the bath bomb mold, otherwise it'll separate into two different halves when I pull it apart. Both halves are overfilled and lightly packed, and now I'm gonna push them together. All right, let's open up the bath bomb mold and see how it turned out. I'm going to carefully remove it from the mold and set it aside to dry and harden. Oh, this looks so fun. And now I'm gonna make my second bath bomb. All of these Simply Earth bath bomb recipes can be doubled to make more bath bombs or resize to make any number of bath bombs you'd like. Lightly packed on each side and gonna put them together. It's looking really good. If you are having trouble with your bath bombs, make sure to check out my first video in this series to learn all my tips and tricks to make amazing, beautiful bath bombs. I hope you like this video and these super fun bath bombs we made. If you try this recipe, make sure to let us know how it goes in the comments and like and share this video with a friend. This video is a part of a series about making bath bombs using essential oils. Check out our other videos below and our cheat sheet for this recipe that's going to make making this beautiful bath bomb a breeze.